Hi, Hazmat Rob here. Hazmat-TSP.com. I wanted to spend some time today talking about respirators. You're seeing people wearing them. You're obviously aware of them. And there are several types. The first type is a homemade respirator, usually made for the individual who will be wearing it. These respirators are great. They can be reused. They usually come with some type of pocket that allows for a filter or a filtration system of some type to be used. And they provide sufficient protection for small tasks and excursions outside of your home. The other thing I like about these masks is it frees up the industrial N95 dust mist respirator. These are more substantial, obviously, than a homemade respirator. They do not provide perfect protection. I don't think any respirator really does, but they do have a nose clamp. They have a more substantial around the head system sometimes. Um, again, breathing in, the respirator is pulled against the face. When you breathe out, the air can be pushed out the sides of the respirator. Um, this is part of the system of the respirator so moisture doesn't build up inside the respirator, uh, causing uh, deterioration of the uh, actual respirator material. After you uh, um, run out of N95s or you feel you need more protection, um, I would think the next step up would be the painter's mask or the industrial, light industrial mask. Very, very easy to use. Uh, extensive filters, easy to put on, easy to take off. The key again with any respirator, the air coming into the respirator um, is purified. But if the individual wearing the respirator for some reason was not well, um, the respirator itself would not filter air leaving the respirator. The respirator system is based on this small, small valve. And when you breathe in, the valve closes, not allowing dirty air to arrive into the respirator. When you breathe out, this loose gasket blows aside and freely allows the air to leave the respirator. These are usually simple to put in, simple to check, and well worth the time and effort as they really are the major area of failure in respirators, improper or improperly installed. So make sure you read the manual and brush up. It's easy to forget some things. The last respirator I wanted to talk about was the full face respirator. It has an extensive filter system. It protects the face, the nose, the mouth, um, has a very substantial head system. Um, again, it seems to have a substantial outlet system, but in reality, um, it's no different than the system on the painter's respirator. It's a small valve. And uh, when you breathe in, the valve is closed, allowing air to arrive through the filters. When you breathe out, the valve opens up and lets the air out. This particular respirator has the advantage of hooking up a system for low pressure air. As long as there is positive pressure in a respirator, the air will be forced out of the seals. If there's not positive pressure and the system is not properly sealed, the air is pulled into the respirator. Please, when you are using respirators, make sure you follow all of the guidelines and have copies of the most up-to-date manuals. One more note, when cleaning your equipment, always use the proper cleaning pads. Respirators can be very expensive and you do not want to dull or damage the lens on your respirator, um, degrading the visibility in extreme situations. If you have any questions on hazardous material, hazardous waste, hazardous substances, marine pollutants, 
call 610-683-6721 or hazmat-tsp.com. Thank you.